and thank you for joining us. With me today is John Cameron and Mr. Leon Brathwaite. We want to thank you for joining us today. And it is today's Access Sacramento's big day of giving. Access Sacramento has been uh, supportive of us in the last couple of years during this time, supportive of freedom of, of expression and helping out the, uh, the community. We want to make sure that, I don't know if we've got this quite on camera, maybe the cameraman can come out there in a minute. So we're going to get you Sacramento, go to Access Sacramento, what is it, .org, I believe, John? Mm-hmm. Access mm -hmm. Sacramento.org. Yeah. .org, yeah. Access Sacramento.org, the big day of giving. Um, they have been very supportive of our community the last few years, mm -hmm. so let's, our community should be very supportive of them. They help, uh, they do a good service to the community. They help educate youth and some of us who aren't so young on learning to give their voice to the community, mm -hmm. express themselves. They have classes for education on marketing and, and computer classes and all various, uh, and, and now I can't think. Communications. All various communication educational instruction programs. So please, as they support us, help them support us by supporting them. Thank you for your time. Yes, yes, AccessSacramento.org, right? AccessSacramento.org, I believe, was the website. Yeah. Go there. Yeah. And yeah, I am terrible about promotion, so I do apologize for that. But help them out. All right. Um, speaking about being terrible, the Department of Homeland Security has created a disinformation management board, I think Gov is what they governance, call it. Governance. Governance. Governance board. Disinformation, yes. disinformation governance board. Can you think of anything more Orwellian name than that? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Department of Homeland Security, <laughs> Homeland Security Disinformation Governance Board. That's actually a worse name than Ministry of Truth. Yes. It, it's yes. actually more well in the oh, Ministry in, of Truth. In, in 1984, it was Ministry of Truth. Truth, yes. yes. But this yes. is actually worse. Yeah. I, this name would have been worse. The DHSDMG or D GMB. D D DGB. DGB. Oh, my God. DHSDGB, yes. Uh, these people yeah. are giving me Department a headache. Of, and and uh, <laughs> when, when you look at the, the jingoistic nature of the, the phrase Department of Homeland Security, yeah. Yeah. doesn't that just kind of ring a bell out of Nazi Germany defending <laughs> the homeland? Yes. You know? Yes. It's, a home, uh, it's a terrible phrase. Yeah. And so now you have... Uh, take it away, Leon. I'm sure you got some stuff to say about that, man. Well, you know, the, the, the question we really should be asking ourselves, do we really need a disinformation board? Do we need someone to be telling us, as adult American citizens, what is true and what is not? Mm. Do we really need those things? Mm. Well, well, I already got, we already got people telling yeah, us yeah. that. I yeah. want to know, is the government actually, has there any history in the history of, I don't know, history where governments are actually reliable disseminators of information, of, of exactly. truthful information? <laughs> exactly. Now, you've got to remember something about all of this, okay? These people who want to form this disinformation board, these were the same people who told us that the Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation. Yeah. They told us that, mm. okay? These were the same people who told us that our border agents were whipping Haitian, mi Haitian migrants at the southern border. Mm. It turned out to be a lie. Mm. These people were the same people pushing the whole Russia Gate scandal. Mm -hmm. That turned out to be a lie too. Mm. And yet, these are the same people, these are the same people are going to be tell us what this information is and what is not. Mm. This is nothing but our attack upon our liberties. And I can guarantee you, these people are going to go after people on the right. People on the right, people who are libertarian-minded, people who are independent-minded, these people are going to go after them. This is what they have been doing. They, want, they no longer want us to have respectful disagreements. They don't want that. They mm. want us, they want total agreement, mm. total submission. Mm. This is beginning to sound like China. This is beginning to sound like North Korea. Mm. We've got to be careful with these people. Mm. I think we should just call it the ministry. I should, I, or we should have a public forum and insist that they call it the ministry of truth <laughs> so that everybody understands that it's the ministry of lies. Yes. You know, like the department, ministry of peace, which is the ministry of war, <laughs> and the ministry of food, which is the ministry of starvation. <laughs> so uh, anytime, well, in this case, the disinformation governance board will probably be accurate because what they will peddle will be disinformation. disinformation. There you go. That's and right. When you were talking, <laughs> I wanted to add some stuff to that. This is the same government that told us that 
there was no such thing as natural immunity, that the only protection against this, this virus there you go. was the through vaccine. vaccination. The vaccine. Yes, and now yes. we're discovering that the vaccinations aren't working against this virus either, but what is working is natural immunity. Uh, and, and, and they told us this, uh, despite the fact that in the in the tests for all these vaccines, they knew that natural immunity worked at least as well. Yes. So, uh, and I know we get in trouble whenever we talk about this. So I should I apologize. No, we only get in trouble on YouTube. Air. That's the nice thing about Access Sacramento. It goes back to the big day of giving here. You know, Access Sacramento allows us to speak mm. freely yeah. yes. where places like YouTube and Facebook don't. Mm. And so that's actually one of the mm. benefits that mm. you know Access Sacramento gives us. And mm. that's that that's that annoys me. You know, and this whole idea that we're you know, people say this is something something new, and that technology has more power, uh, and uh, you know, but they forget that um, in the past, uh, newspaper moguls back when newspapers was the only place you could get news manufactured basically wars. Yeah. Uh, and give me a um, picture, I'll give you a war. That's, yeah. that's and so. You know, the fact that, that so many people consider the, the disinformation and the propaganda they get as news, that worries me. And it goes back to something. You were, you were a teacher. I taught adults, uh, leadership management and all that good stuff. Um, and, and people who actually believe that what they're getting is news, yes. uh, that frightens me. It frightens me that people are so, um, have so little discernment that they, they cannot discover the fact that they're basically being propagandized. And the fact that the, 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 the government wants to do this um, and, and the uproar isn't, uh, I mean, people aren't marching in mass to, to their, their government representatives demanding this doesn't happen means that the, the, the subjects in this country you know, what, what do you call a citizen who isn't armed? A subject. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. The subjects in this country are going along with us, and, and it's disgusting and it's frightening, and I hate it. Yeah. You know, the complacency of, of, uh, of the citizens of the United States is really, is truly disturbing. Mm -hmm. It really is. Because when we become uh, a complacent citizen, mm -hmm. we become a subjugated citizen. Mm -hmm. that, that is what happens. Yeah. But all of these things, though, I mean, I mean when you really look, uh, this thing about disinformation and some of the other things that we can talk about. These are nothing but attacks on Western civilization, on the values of Western mm -hmm. civilization. We spoke about uh, this a little while ago about the rule of law. That is under attack. Free speech mm -hmm. is under attack. The Second Amendment, um, the right to, to be arms, is under attack. The Fourth Amendment is under attack. They have rendered the, the, um, the Tenth Amendment almost useless right now, hopefully. It's some of that will return. But the whole point is, Western civilization is under attack. And these left-wing mobs are trying to take this country to a utopia that none of us want to go to. Mm. That well, is what is happening. I do want to... It's wait. pretty dystopian utopia. Exactly. You, yeah, but we want to be careful when we talk about left-wing mobs because we, our next story is PayPal has actually removed the accounts of some of these left-wing anti-war Protest, these anti-war uh, groups, mm. you know, Mint Press News has had their, is, is the one that triggers my mind, has had their, uh, and all they do is they're anti-war, right? They do have an anti-Israeli bent, but so what, mm. right? These, but PayPal is now, because they are against the Russian war, they're against the, the Western involvement in the Russian-Ukraine war. So that's what they're against. Mm. And so now they're being claimed for, for no really no real reason. PayPal mm. doesn't give them an actual reason why. But, you know, it's, it's pretty clear when you have a whole string of anti-war, left-wing anti-war groups now all of a sudden getting deplatformed, mm. like, they well, were doing to the, like they were doing to the anti-right groups yes. before, that there's this, it's not necessarily a right or a left, it's this establishment group that is actually trying to, the power establishment, call it the deep state, call it whatever we want mm. to call it, is they're afraid of anybody who's, who might... Uh, what? I'm not Threaten as, their power. See, I'm not as concerned as you are about PayPal doing something because they're a private organization. But if they're doing it because what the I'm, Disinformation Board calls them up and says, we don't like what these people well, are saying. Well, yeah. is, is that what's happening or, or are oh, they well, doing it? I think it probably is. Yeah. Honestly, I don't, well, we know some, in California, I don't want to sound conspiratorial, but I think it probably is. Well, we know in California the, the, the politicians run up and say, if you don't do something about the speech on your platform, we're going to drag you through the regulatory mud. It's true. Mm -hmm. We do know that the politicians have drugged these 
have brought these tech leaders up to the up to the courts and had up to the uh, Congress and had hearings mm. and drug them through the hearings under the threat of some future action mm. if you don't do something that we tell you to do. Mm. And so the fact that maybe they're just doing it out of fear. Mm. And if they're acting out of fear, that that I th that I think is is what's happening. And then um, also the 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 problem with this mess is that um, you know I'm going to get in trouble with I got a lot of Ukrainian friends, so I've got to be very careful when I say this. Neither side uh, is without guilt in this. Um, these are not two uh, not two upstanding uh, free democratic societies that we're talking about. Uh, although we're probably on par with them now with some of the things that we're doing. And y yes, the invasion of one sovereign nation by another is a, is, a hor is a bad thing, but there's so much disinformation going on about what's actually going on in that war that, that I'm suspect of everything I read by on any platform about it. Um, it's like and the Johnny Depp Amber Heard relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Russian Ukraine thing. Hold, 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 hold. Let's not <laughs> sully the program. With, I mean, it's free speech. You can talk about it if you want. But that that sideshow circus is sharing on some pretty major websites that I go to that I had a little respect for before this. As much, you know, if it's a newspaper, it'd be column inches. As the war in Ukraine, I mean, uh, this is crazy. Where, wh what has happened to this? The, the fall of Western civilization. Yes. You know. Yeah. yeah. You know, but James, I want to make a distinction here. You, um, I am talking. There, are, there are two groups of people on the left that I'm talking about. Okay, one of them are liberals. Liberals are people to me who you could disagree with, and you all could go have a beer after. Well, I don't drink beer anymore, but well, yeah, 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 those are liberals. The leftists is who I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. The people who are in the streets right now trying to tell the Supreme Court how they should rule on their next their big decision about abortion. We we'll be talking about that here shortly. But the leftists in America today, okay, and many of them are in the Biden administration. Well, you see, you don't like the Biden administration, but that's what it is right now. <laughs> many of them are in the Biden administration who are trying to force things down our throat. They are trying to make us think the way they think, speak the way they speak, and act the way they act. Mm. Those are the leftists, and yes. those are the people well, we, we have to guard against. Leftists have been doing this since Lenin and Trotsky and Marx, and, 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 and they, they are using the lever of race to try to make their point, exactly. yet the people who, who created communist ideology are, were the most racist people people on the freaking planet exactly so um so, no i agree and but i am a little cautious about liberals because malcolm x and this is almost a word for word quote quote but i got to change one term because we can't use it anymore um said that uh when he was talking about um that the black people's greatest enemy were white liberals. White liberals, yes. Yeah, and he, I've, he I've, used I've a said. different word than black, yeah, I know, but I that know. was appropriate yes. for that time. Yes. Yes. And so um, the, they're, they're all of a bunch. But I agree with, if you, if you uh, a, a, an old school liberal, like a Bill Maher liberal, of I course. could sit down and have an oh. enjoyable conversation with. Yes. But these new people that call themselves liberal, I mean, classic liberal is a libertarian. Yes. But yes. I am a classic people. liberal. The long hair, the you know, my first car was a Volkswagen Bug. You know, yeah. my mother was a flower child. Well, I am kind of the typical. Hell, the I was a flower classical, child. <laughs> <laughs> a classical liberal. Yes. So, but so also as maybe as the difference is we need to capitalism stop, We need too, to make a difference yeah. between you know the classical liberal and the leftists, and the leftists. who, who, yeah. are, who are the, the extremists, who are Marxists or whatever mm. label you want to stick on. And they're it. Yeah. and they're in bed with the environmental group. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, well, because that's where their power comes. That's yeah. one way they can. One they can, way they can they beat can, us with the, the club idiots, of the environment, yeah. so yes. to speak. Yeah, the useful yeah. idiots, so to speak. And so that's how it goes. Um, now, speaking about useful idiots, the abort uh, Roe v. Wade is under threat under uh, mm. at, under uh, the Supreme Court. Under threat is probably the wrong word. Roe v. Wade is under consideration mm. at the under Supreme review. Court. Under review in the Supreme mm. Court. Roe v. Yeah. Wade, Casey, the. What role the government plays in making these kind of health care decisions is actually probably a better way to describe it is, yeah. is what's currently under threat, yeah. under review. I, I, should, I 
get used to even I am susceptible to the language that you get bombarded with <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm, it's not even under threat we're just reviewing these things we're reviewing mm. like we do what we do this is what our country does we mm. review past rulings and past laws to make sure that they're still valid or that there weren't mistakes made or biases mm. it's kind of yeah. what we do and but what is different this time is someone has leaked what is essentially a a draft not just a draft it's a deliberatory document and anybody who's created a document with a group setting that you you create some big far extreme document and you work it back right mm -hmm. to where you find the agreement mm -hmm. that's how these things work mm -hmm. it's like if you create a business plan the first draft of your business plan is god awfully ridiculous but by the time you get to it, you get to finish, it's actually something that's reasonable. It's still reasonable. probably ridiculous, too, but less yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, but it's yeah. less yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> I've been in those meetings. Yeah. I know whereof I speak. <laughs> but the point is now, the, the justices have had this, ex, this process exposed yes. when there's actually some valid reasons why this process, this process is actually should be secret, should be mm -hmm. quiet. Yes. Because yes. we actually don't know what the determination is. They're actually mm -hmm. still determining. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And I, I'd like to talk about the whole, the, the fact that, that uh, this is the first time in my memory that this has happened. Uh, the Supreme Court is, is way too important in this country because government is way too important. And because the government controls everything, the Supreme Court is hugely important. I want the Supreme Court to go back to being where it was 50 years ago. Nobody even knew who the Supreme Court justices were because yes. they didn't have to try to protect us every single day from the from the uh, huge the Tyrannosaurus yeah, Rex the, the that is the government. Yes, yes. The tentacles everywhere. Yes. Well, what what there there are two things going on here. And well, three things. One is the release of a private document for who knows what reason. The second one is the 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 uh, discussion between people. And it's rather heated about um, you know, the whole subject of abortion. There are people on one side who believe that that um, killing a fetus is murdering another human being, and other people s disagree with that and say that a woman should be able to control her reproduction reproductive rights. And there's the third part which is what nobody focuses on. And I know a whole bunch of lawyers, a uh, lot of lawyers, way, way more lawyers than I will ever want to know. And, and if any of them speak honestly of Roe v. Wade, they will tell you that it was a terrible ruling. Yes. And that the ruling itself shouldn't have happened, and it's got so many holes in it legally that you can drive a truck through it. Yes. So if this is so, so important to the United States of America, let the legislatures of the states of these, of these United States put a law in place that protects this right. If this right needs legal protection, let them make a law. Don't let yeah, some legal hocus pocus that happened in 1973 that Every legal scholar that looked at it when that came down said, what? I mean, yes. about the law. So there's three different things going on here, and, and the country's getting pretty worked up about it. Yeah, well, yeah. in states like California, it's like, even regardless of what the Supreme Court does, yeah. nothing's going to change in California. No, no it's not. No, it's nothing's not. going to change. And now there are a handful of states where it might, but, yeah. Yeah. but we still don't even know what the, what the restrictions actually might be. A lot of people think they're just going to back up the timeline to what mm -hmm. is it, 13 weeks or whatever Well, there's no, well actually, if, if the, the draft turns into the final decision in, in basically the form that it is right now, nothing is going to change. All that's going to happen is not that abortion is going to be banned or anything like that. All that's going to happen is that the state legislators will now decide what are the restrictions on abortion, if, if any. That's all that's going to happen. Yeah, and, okay? and it might not even get that far because these, they might just, they, they can, how the Supreme Court tends to do, they carve these things out. They, don't, they may just make a small carve. Well, the law as it stands is, is the law as it's written is a, is a bad piece of law. I'm it's, not it's, saying it's that weak. abortion it's, it's is a bad weak foundation. or good. It's, it's a weak foundation. Legally, yes. it's foundationally unsound. Yeah, yes. They could have solved it on body autonomy in one way or the other. Either you, A, you have the right to body autonomy and the government can pound sand, or, <laughs> you know, regardless, in, in, you know, yeah. or not, right? That's what they should have decided mm. on, but, but they didn't. But I, I, I think, you know, this I, is a discussion that, that is, that, you know, people are 
holds some pretty strong beliefs on this on either it, side. It's true. I mean, it's true. And and I have to I have yeah. to confess. And I'm I, not I, a woman. I, so I, I have some strong I have some strong views. I think James and I will, will totally disagree <laughs> on this. Yeah. I have some strong views about it myself, and it have nothing to do with the fact that I was raised Catholic, but. But I don't, but you see, I, um, this whole bodily autonomy business, I, I cannot subscribe to this because we are not talking about one body in this discussion. There are two bodies involved, okay? Mm -hmm. All of us here and everybody who's listening to this pro program came out of a woman, okay? And we were a different body, okay? When did we start being a different body? When? Mm. And see, that's the that's the... That's the crux of this whole thing. There wasn't that too long ago where, where supposedly civilized and still uh, societies in this world practiced infanticide. Yes. So a baby would come out and they decide, oh, that's a girl. We don't need any more girls. Yes. Take the baby by the heels, bash the head against the rock. We would all disagree, I think, in this room that that is wrong. Yes. And so if that is wrong, at what point backward in time does it become right? And so I am not smart enough to come up with that answer, and I've thought about it long and hard, and, and I have y never talked to anybody who could cogently and coherently sell me on why their point in time was right. But it's not, so I'm not, I know I'm going to get in so much trouble if anybody watches the show. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not picking sides here. I'm just saying, I am very glad that I don't have to make these rules because this is, this is a, people are, are violent on this stuff. Well, these what's, are rules no matter what you make, there's going to be. What's crazy yeah. to me, and I am going to get in trouble for this, is there were 646,000 abortions in this country last year. And I'm just wondering with all of the contraceptive processes that are available, why it was necessary to have 646,000 abortions last year. That, that, that is a question, and well, that, that, that I think is a good question. Ah. Yeah, you got the abortion question, and then you have the question of these people use, of whoever leaked this, mm. kind of deliberately leaking yeah, it to, got, create so a, apologize, to create a political, field. To, be create a political to create political a political storm. Firestorm. Yeah. That's what they've yeah. done, deliberately yeah. done. Yeah. Someone has deliberately done that, and for whatever reason, you know, whether it's because the midterms are coming up, you've got mm. midterms and Well, why would they leak it now, though? I mean, mm. by the time the midterms, well, I think so this, that, this so will be all that gone. To, to line up my theory, okay. it's all politics. and uh, our Politics Funding, yeah. in this country is as, is as dirty as politics anywhere in the world. And California is the dirtiest of the bunch. And it, it makes this, this you know, state like it's, oh, we, we have high principles in this state. California politics is as dirty as Louisiana ever was 100 years ago. <laughs> so my theory is this, that um, they know that this is a litmus test, knee-jerk, will fire up the troops in the trenches uh, issue. And so they want, um, the, in, in because the, 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 the left knows that there's going to be a bloodbath in the midterms. They want to get the troops fired up, and they want these Republicans and moderates and all the rest of that who aren't completely on board with, with uh, abortion rights to have to defend themselves in the court of public opinion. And that's why it was leaked. That's my opinion. Well, but, I think, I yeah. mean, I think that, that makes sense, right? That, I think that makes uh, perfect sense. But um, this thing is really damaging to the court. Mm. It's very, very damaging to court. It, 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 it changes the, the credibility and the legitimacy of the court. Well, you've um, already had uh, one political party. The Democrats have already been threatening the court, they weren't threatening to pack the court, threatening yes. to do all kinds of stuff. So it, it, exactly. no, it doesn't surprise me. And this is where we get back to this issue of liberals versus the leftists. Now, look at what they are doing right now. Okay, the, Just today, they have released the address and personal information of some of the... Um, the, the families justice, of the Supreme of, Court justices. Of, exactly, they have yeah. done this. And this is what these leftists are trying to do. Mm -hmm. It is fine if we disagree. We may disagree on abortion. James and I may disagree on whatever. We may disagree. We could well, respectfully we're, we're disagree. We're all three libertarians. We're guaranteed to disagree. Exactly, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Right? We could all respectfully disagree. But not with these leftist people. They think they have to rule us. They have to control us. They have to control what we say. They have to control what we think. And if not, we become their enemy. And this is a problem. 
Yeah, it's the it's the enemy problem is actually the primary. It's no longer honorable people kind of honorable honorable disagreements. It's that if you disagree with me, you are my enemy. Yes. And yes. it's not like you're my neighbor who has disagreements with me, but hey, we're still going to go to the picnic in the park together because you're mm. you're a good guy. You know, we have <laughs> we have political disagreements. Yes. No, we have political disagreements makes you a bad person, regardless of whether the fact that you feed mm. the homeless and regardless of whatever it is you exactly you, you might do is yeah. on your. On did your you person. see that? Yes, I did. Okay. Whether you whether you engage in your personal life, so this is a danger that we've living in and this is kind of a perfect example of this danger of the divided society that people are creating for us today mm, indeed. and one of the ways we can fight you know this uh, divided society is to just become less divided amongst ourselves as you stated we disagree on lots of things but yet we are friendly we work together sure. on a routine basis me sure. and john disagree all the time you know but it's I disagree fun. with myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so there's disagreements. I, we did. We were going to cover about the the Fed. Depending on the a, day, the Fed has raised the, the rate to half a point, but we've only got like two minutes left, and I've got to save a minute for this for the Access Sacramento promo. <laughs> <laughs> so I am actually filling time right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let me see if I can do 30, 30, 30 seconds, seconds on John. something pretty important. All right. Uh, in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. They're going to make uh, housing more affordable by removing price controls. Which is a good thing. Because they, they put something in place that was supposed to make housing more affordable, and nobody built any affordable housing because they put in a stupid rule. And then they went back and they thought, oh, you know what thing makes things cheaper? Market economies. Take exactly. the rules out yeah, of the way. That. Housing the, prices. They put in down. rules, and the rules made people not want to participate. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But the way you can com engage in your community mm -hmm. is by helping Access Sacramento create Give people like us voices. Give people who you don't otherwise hear from a chance to speak. Or even people you agree with. Yeah. People you agree with, people you don't, you, people you disagree with. <laughs> you know, hearing, hearing more voices, hearing more opinions, hearing, having your community be able to speak to you is an important, is an important part of your community. And Access Sacramento is, is an uh, important part of that. So please, if you can help them, go to accesssacramento.org for the big day of giving and support them as best as you can. I think they have been big supporters of us, and we should support them. I as absolutely well. agree. You yeah, know, there are you know one of the things yes. that Americans are, on the left and the right. Although I think actually the right's more giving, believe yes, it or are. not. Yes, they the are. The selfish capitalists are more. Well, giving. the left wants to give you money, but they just want you to pay. For, they don't want to give it from their pocket. Yeah, they want yeah, you to yeah, give yeah, it yeah. to yeah. them. From, they the, want the, the, America, the left Americans are very are generous with other people's money. <laughs> the, 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 Americans are by their nature generous. They are the most generous people in the world. Yes. They give whether it's through their their faith-based organization or for their tree hugging or for homeless or whatever it is <laughs> they, give. they give they give they Americans give their time give. they give, they give their reason. time they give yeah. their money and yeah. it is it is a basic part of the american spirit and yeah. it's part of the american spirit that i love Indeed. i was, I was watching a, a a russian uh she was doing a um a video about her time in america she spent some time in america and she said it's amazing how many people in america are polite she says we're insanely polite right. people, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. and it surprises she people. She doesn't know any libertarians. <laughs> <laughs> How polite people are! No, I think libertarians are 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 we're, we're, are very polite we're, because we're, you know, I mean, because the other person might be packing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you know the politeness. Thank you all for watching. We want to thank you for being here. Thank you, John. Thank you, uh, Leon, Leon, for being here. It's a pleasure. I really <laughs> enjoyed I'm going to remember where you guys are today. It's, it's, been a long, it's been a long day. Thank you for being here. And uh, please remember to love everybody.